Hi, I'm Keith Phelps. I teach fourth grade in Boise, Idaho. This video is for parents and students and maybe other teachers uh, to show different ways that students think about subtraction. I'm going to show different notation systems and different strategies that I've seen students use uh, throughout the years. The problem we're going to be solving today is we are traveling 93 miles to grandma's house. We have traveled 38 miles so far. How many more miles until we get there? The first strategy is called tree diagram. The way a student would solve the problem 93 minus 38 is like this. 90 minus 30 is 60. 3 minus 8 is negative 5. 60, the 60 and the negative 5 give us 55. So our answer is we have 55 more miles left to go. Another way to use tree diagram might be this, 93 minus 38. If I want to avoid using negative numbers, I can decompose uh, the numbers maybe something like this. Um, the 93 I could decompose into an 80 plus 13. And the 38, I might decompose into a 30 plus 8. Then I can subtract the 30 from the 80, or 80 minus 30 is 50. And then 13 minus 8 gives me 5. I combine the 50 and the 5 to give a total of 55. Another way to use tree diagram with decomposing might be something like this. I can decompose the 90, 93 into a 90 plus 3, and the 38 into a 30 plus 8. Then I would subtract the 30 from the 90, which gives me 60. But then, if I don't want to go into the negatives again and I want to avoid using negative numbers, I can decompose the 8 into a 3 plus a 5, then I subtract the 3 from the other 3, which gives me 0. I still have 5 more to subtract, so then I need to subtract 60, take away the 5, which gives me the answer of 55. I once saw a girl solve a subtraction problem using uh, this next method on a different problem, so I applied it to this particular problem, 93 minus 38. She first built the 90 with tens and a 3, so 9 tens plus 3, there's a 93. And then uh, she took away 30, so 10, 20, 30, and then she still had to take away 8 more, so she decomposed the, the next 10 into an 8, 8 plus 2. So now she can take away her 8, and her answer would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, plus 3 is 53, plus the 2 more is 55. So her answer is 55. This is called arrow language or arrow notation. So I start at 93, and then the thinking here is I want to use numbers that I'm are familiar with or are comfortable with. Friendly numbers is what we often call them. There we go. So I start at 93, I take away 3, that takes me to 90, uh, then I take away 10, that gets me to 80, uh, take away another 10, which gets me to 70. Take away another 10 to get to 60. So, so far I've taken away 10, 20, 30, 33. So I need to take away 5 more. I take away 5 more, and that gives me, gets me to 55. So in this case, the 38 is on top of my arrows. The 3 and the 5 give me the 8, plus the 3 tens give me the 30 for the 38. 
Some students may solve it like this, taking less jumps. So they would start at 93, take away 3 to get to 90, and then they could, they could take 30 away to get to 60. They've taken away 33 so far, they still need to take away 5 more to get to 55. So I could also use arrow language building up. So I could start at 38. Maybe I would add 50. 38 plus 50, that's 88. Then I might add 2 to get to 90. Add 3 more to get to 93. So my answer is the 50 plus the 2 plus the 3, which gives me my 55. Or maybe another way to think about it, 38, first go to a, my friendly number of, of 40 by adding 2, then adding 50 to get to 90, plus 3 more to get to 93. It's a little bit different order, and as you can see, students can do this lots of different ways, just using numbers that they're comfortable with that, that are easy for them to use. So again, 2 plus 50 plus 3 gives me my answer of 55.